Speaker Jace Bolger says he is not resigning despite an investigator's decision that he tried to perpetrate a fraud on the voters. Bolger had worked with Democratic Representative Roy Schmidt to switch parties just before the filing deadline last May. Schmidt's relatives offered to pay another man to run in the Democratic primary, making it harder for Dems to get a write-in candidate. That man dropped out shortly afterward. The investigator also found Bolger did not break any laws. Speaking of Bolger, he says he won't apologize for silencing two female lawmakers last month, even though, even though one of them, State Representative Barb Byram, brought more than 115,000 signatures to his office today on petitions calling for an apology. Byram was reprimanded for using the word vasectomy during a debate on anti-abortion bills last month. She says she's gotten a lot of support, even from people who disagree with her opinion. People telling me, you know, good job. Grandmothers who told me we thought this issue, we thought we fought this issue years ago. And thank you for fighting it for us again, because they thought they put this issue to bed. Women are equal to men. It's high time that the GOP legislature recognize that. You may remember the comment that got a lot of national attention came from Representative Lisa Brown, who said this. And finally, Mr. Speaker, I'm flattered that you're all so interested in my vagina, but no means no. A spokesman for the House Speaker says this is not a gender issue and that Byram and Brown were silenced because their comments violated decorum. A Michigan